Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial we will be going to create realistic trees, ferns and at last water. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out my realistic game development tutorials. And guess what, once we wrap up this series, I will be sharing the complete project files with you. So make sure you hit that bell icon to be first in line to grab the exclusive project files. Alright, so let's open up Blender. So this is my Blender workspace and currently I am using Blender version 4.0 and if you don't have Blender then go ahead and install it. Alright, so whichever keys I press on my keyboard will be visible at this section. So if you forget to tell any key then you can just watch this area to grab up the tutorial. Alright, so let's start importing our tree and add vertex paint to it. So vertex paint will help us to animate the leaves using shader in Godot. Alright. So we'll press A once or twice to select everything and then delete. Let's go to file, import and I will be importing a GLTF format. So the tree model here I'll be using is from my previous tutorial which was on how to create a realistic forest. And here I'll be using the oak model but you can use any online available tree or you can create your own. Alright, so let's import. Select your tree model and then click on import. So this is my tree model, alright, let's add vertex paint to it. So if you go to this section, the data one, you can see we have an option called vertex group. So let's create a new vertex group and then rename it to leaves and then we'll change the object mode to be vertex paint, okay. So now in the screen, you can see we have a scale from black to white. So the white area means the highly affected area. And the dark area is the bark area and the bark doesn't move so that will be painted as black and the whiter one is leaves so that will be painted as white and in between we have a gray kind of area so this area will be for smaller stems which will be lightly affected by wind all right so if you select and start painting you can see nothing happens and the reason is because we are in currently draw mode so let's select to subtract and then start painting on our tree. So as I said, the black area will be for our bark and the whiter area will be for our leaves. So let me quickly paint over it. You can press one and three to go to a different view and control one and control three to go to the opposite view. All right, so I have roughly painted on my tree and then let's go again to object mode. So the better you paint on your tree, the greater will be your results. So I have just simply painted for the tutorial. Alright, so once you finish painting on your tree, let's export the model. So to export the model, go to file, click on export and we will be selecting a GLB format. Alright, open up your project directory. So mine is this one. So let's open it up and let's create a new folder for our trees. So let's rename it to be tree and ferns. Open it up and again create a new folder and let's rename it to oak. Open the oak folder and let's rename our file to be oak tree. Alright, so before actually exporting, let's change few parameters over here. So make sure the format is in GLTF binary. And then in the data section, in the mesh, make sure the vertex color is selected. And we don't need animation to be on, so let's just turn it off, but this is optional. And let's export. So once you export your model, let's copy and paste the textures. Alright. So these are the textures. So I'll select all the textures and let's copy. Let's jump to our Godot project and we'll go under tree and ferns. So this was the folder which we created in Blender. So let's go to Oak and let's paste it here. Alright, so all the textures are placed and let's again do the same thing for Fern. So let's first delete our tree model. So just select your tree and click on delete. And then let's import our Fern. So again the Fern model is same used from my previous tutorial on how to create a realistic forest in Godot. Okay, so let's import our Fern model. Alright, so let's add vertex group. So select the fern, go to data and then add vertex group. 
rename it to fern and then change the object mode to be vertex paint and then start painting your fern so currently you can see the center portion i have set it as black because i just want the edges of our ferns to move and not from the center so the center is acting as a bar and the white area which again are the corners which act as a leaf all right so once you have finished your painting again go to object mode select your model and then let's export it so go to file export and then select glb format then let's again open up our project structure of godot let's go to tree and fern and then let's create a new folder name it as fern then rename your model make sure the vertex color is selected so this is by default but make sure it's selected and then click on export and then you can copy your fern textures in your godot file okay so let's jump back to godot so this was the scene which we created in our previous tutorial so let's create a new tree now so let's for that let's create a new scene and rename it to tree and then we'll drag and drop our tree model in our scene so currently you can see the textures are not properly aligned and it looks very funky all right so let's make it local and then let's add shader for our surface so we'll add a new shader and then let's create a new shader so we will create the shader in tree and fern and then let's rename the shader i will be renaming it to sway shader and click on open and then click on create all right so now in the shader we will go to my github link so i have provided the link in the description all right so go to sway tree dot and then here you will see i have created the shader for you all right so let's copy the shader and then let's paste it once you paste you'll see the complete bark is black and by the way the zero slot was for my bark so you can see the complete bark is black so let's change it so first of all you need to do is you need to change albedo to be white and then if you scroll down you'll see few slots over here so let's drag and drop our texture albedo and then let's drag and drop our normal and roughness all right so we'll do the same thing for our leaves so slot one was for my leaf so let's create a new shader material and then this time we will load our shader all right again let's change the parameter albedo to be white and then in the texture albedo let's drag and drop our texture and let's even drag and drop our normal texture all right so now you can see our tree started animating but again the leaves looks a bit funky so to change you can just change the backlight color so let's change it from black to somewhat gray i guess this is good all right so let's save our tree so you can see the tree is animated and if you want to change its parameters such as sway speed sway strength and sway face length you can just change it by default it's 1.5 and i guess this is fine for me and let's save our scene so we'll save our scene in tree and fern and then let's save it so once you save let's jump back to our main scene and then let's add the tree all right i guess the tree size is very huge <laughs> so let's scale it down so in the transform i'll scale it to 0.27 is good and then place it rotate if you need but um, okay i think this is fine and you can see the leaf is animated and even the leaf shadows are moving so if you want in higher animation for your leaf then i just said you can change the value over here and if you change the value over here make sure you even change it for your bark so even our bark which has you know smaller stem and the stem which was painted as grayish color so for that you should change it over here but it depends on your materials how many slots you have all right so that's it for the tree let's do the same thing for our fern so let's create a new scene a new 3d scene 
and then rename it to fern then let's drag and drop our fern model and set it to make local all right so you can see the fern texture is not good so again we will change our texture to be a shader and the shader again will be the same thing load the sway shader click on open all right i think the sway is very huge so in the shader parameter change the albedo to be white and then in the albedo texture drag and drop the texture all right and then let's change the speed strength and face to a lower value okay you can play with these settings for your liking i guess this is fine for me and then let's save the scene all right once you save your scene let's jump back to our main scene and then let's add a node 3d and then rename it to fern we will add all the fern as the children of this node so let's start adding okay so the size is very low so let's increase the scale right 3.5 is fine and then place it in your scene one here one here one here one here and the last one here and just change the rotation So you can change the scale value to have a bit variation for your fonts. All right. So you can even use add-on for the font placements, but as you know, my scene is very small, so I just place them manually. But if you have an open world terrain, then you can use the add-on to place them. All right. So let's save, and you may notice one more thing that. the fern looks like it's been faded so to solve that again if you change the backlight then nothing going to happen <laughs> all right so let's change the albedo color to be green i guess this is fine now and then let's open up the scene so now you can see the ferns are green previously it was looking as if it was whitewashed all right So that's it for the animation. Okay, so the final part to add in our scene is water. So for water, I'll be using the shader from this guy. So this is a water shader. So go ahead and download the zip file. I have already downloaded it, so I'll not be doing it again. So open the water and then open the folder and we need to copy this lip folder. So copy it up. go back to your godot project file and then paste it over here and after this we need to copy the textures so the foam texture and water normal so select both of them copy go back to your project and let's add a new folder over here and then let's rename it to water open the water and paste the textures here and the last thing we need to copy is the shader so go to this shader folder and copy this water then again go back to your project file paste it here let's jump back to godot and here let's add a node 3d and then rename it to water then let's add a mesh instance 3d and then in the mesh let's assign a quad mesh and the size of the quad mesh let it be 3 by 3 then let's rotate it in x 90 degrees and then let's drag it up so it's visible all right let's even scale the value from here so scale of 5 or let it be 10 all right this is fine so let's add material for this so let's add a new shader material and then in the shader let's assign the shader which we copied so open up the water folder and then open the water shader all right in the shader parameter for the surface color change the r value to be 
the G value to be 240 and then the B value to be 219. So all these values are from my side and it's not fixed. So next for the depth color, change the R value to 57, B value to 199 and then G value to be 212. All right. So these are the two colors which I'll be adding for my water. All right. Let the opacity be one. All right. And then let's add foam and normal map. So for the foam, let's add the texture which we copied. And then for the normal, let's add the normal map. All right. Change the roughness to be one. And then you can play with the other factors. Right. So again, if you don't like your color, then you can play with the color, but I guess this is good. And then let's even change the foam strength or foam size to be a lesser value. So you can see the foam affected area over the corner. Okay. So that's it. So in the next tutorial, we'll be doing post processing work. So which is the main part in our scene. That's it for the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial. If you have any questions, comment me below. Do like this tutorial, do comment, do subscribe and always have a great day.